and I'm going to be playing Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey. This is my pick for the best game from 2019. Um, I'm really impressed with it. I played through it a little bit, and I'm I, I'm just enjoying it a ton. So I'm going to start a new lineage. Uh, let's see. I suppose as a rooster, we probably have to inseminate an egg at some point. Let's name it Egg. I'm going to go ahead and start it on first time. Just to show what it was like probably the first time through. I'm going to actually turn the tutorial off, though. I do like the full HUD, so I'll be keeping that. And I do not care what my gender is. Apparently, I'm going to be a female. So it does have quite a long load time. Um, yeah, so what I've done so far, I, I have, I do have a couple dozen hours into this game. Um, which, when I phrase it like that, I'm like, man, I feel like I should have done a lot more. Um, but there's just a lot, a lot to do. So I've learned different things, uh, how to craft certain items and whatnot. Mostly, I spend a lot of time just trying to hunt and get better at that, and discovering new landmarks, um, which are, that's kind of an important part of the game, so you'll see that as we go through. Um, if you haven't played this game, obviously I recommend it, but what I will say is, I'm going to actually suggest you... You don't watch my broadcast? Um, I say watch a little bit, uh, but one of the funnest things in this game is figuring stuff out. Trying different combinations of items, uh, different tools on different items, and figuring out that you can do different things with them. Um, you learn, obviously, as the player, but your, your characters, your hominid, learn and they they actually develop new neurons in their brain um, that's part of how the game is created it's a, it's a lot of fun um, but yeah like I said if you don't want any spoilers sure watch me play for a little bit but after that I really do suggest you just play the game going into it mostly blind All right, the world and characters you will encounter are meant to represent archetypes of a place and of a moment not exact yet. Hopefully you read it faster than I did. Up front credits, like a boss. Thanks to all those people, you made a great game. A special thanks to Nicholas, Sam, and Julie. I do like the music from the game, too. We'll play it, those people. So, one of the lines that's about to come up is quite possibly my favorite, because it's, it's so true, and so just perfect. Good luck. We will help you much. Um, this game has contextual clues and things like that. But especially, I mean, I turned the tutorial off, so I'll be going in more blind than normal. It's it, it's kind of like that. Uh, it's straight up. There you go. Try not to die. Why the bird dropped this fish? That's the only thing from this intro video I'm confused about. Unless it was terrified by that giant ass snake. An African rock python, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, look, a little 
little fishy still alive. For now. Oh, you got shanked. Just kidding. Fishy's back in the water. I don't think he's alive anymore. Oh yeah. Silver Tooth Panther. What now? And that's a pretty uh inclusive intro. It's basically like, listen. There's a lot of stuff out there that might kill you, so. Good luck with that. Uh -huh. Look at this fish, it's got a hole in it, little baby monkey. Yeah. Same monkey, they're hominids. Although my daughter affectionately refers to this game as the gorilla game. Well, the one someone came playing in front of her, she's only five. Um, because there's no, I mean, the only violence is, like, animals attacking. You know, like that one. So I don't mind playing in front of her. Yep. Terrified baby monkey. So now it's like, hey. Good luck. You're a baby monkey off in the woods, try not to die. Um, so the first thing I recommend about this in game, this game like all the time, is use intelligence. So it's the triangle button, or the Y button on Xbox, and look around. So you can see little squares will pop up, little squares. Uh, in this case it's only highlighting hiding spots, because that's what you're looking for. And that's actually your clan's settlement right now. So I'm going to head to this hiding spot closest to my settlement. So if you focus on it, you can then also hold down triangle again to memorize it. And then when you go out of focus mode by moving, it still shows up. So I'm going to run over to that. Uh, if you press and hold X, you'll run a little faster, and then when you release it, you'll jump. If you don't want to jump when you release, you can stop, and then release X and you roll. But here is my little hiding spot, and I'm gonna go hide in here so a giant eagle doesn't eat me. So now that that elder lost a child, we have just become an adult searching for the child. So you can hear it already. Um, again, you can use triangle to do intelligence, but you can also do senses. So I'm going to use hearing. Look around a little bit. So I don't see anything standing out, but if you stand up by pressing X, it'll actually extend your hearing a little bit. Still don't have an exact location, but just based on the direction of the sound, it's most certainly this way. Huh, we're pretty far, pretty far up here, so that could explain why we're having trouble hearing the exact location. Right, sounds closer now. Let's try it again. <laughs> Senses, hearing, there we go. So it's showing that we can hear something from that direction. Now if you press and hold circle to focus, and release to identify, that's where that baby's at. So I'm going to memorize it, and then go find that baby. Go, little baby. I'll save you. So in this case, you want to wait until after the baby speaks, and then you press circle to talk. 
back to it, which comforts it. And it will come with you. Babies are quite possibly the most important thing in this game. Strike that. Babies are the most important thing in this game. Cool. So now we all, all we gotta do is go home. Again, first triangle. We'll look around. Ooh, something we don't know. That's where our settlement is. But one of the big points in this game is just identify things. Uh, so I basically know nothing at this point. You can stop and see what this is. There we go. So if we grab it, it shows this like... What's that? like black smoke stuff, you can see it better when I do this. Coming out of it, that's fear of the unknown. You don't know what it is, so you're afraid of it. So in that case, you know, we haven't evolved that much. Now we see what it is. It's a piece of grass. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down. Now, since that's the same thing, I can focus on it and I identify it instead of it showing another question mark. Um, let's go see what that is. And this, so there's a lot of stuff to identify, but early on in the game, I, I, that's what I mean, identify everything you possibly can. Alright, let's inspect this. Dead branch. A new tool. Alright, I'm gonna put that down too. Identifying things. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, that seems most of the stuff right in the. Oh, there's one. What you got? Don't know that thing. Let's go find it. Okay. Can I identify it yet? Oh, there we go. Nope. <laughs> Fishing spot. Uh, mild spoiler alert. Later on, after you figure out how to sharpen a stick, you can go spear fishing. So, not only am I identifying things just to know what they are, um, the other side of this is, I mentioned before, my hominid is learning. Um, the more you use intelligence and senses and things, um, the more your hominid begins to understand things. Uh, when you do this, you want to have a baby with you, at least one. See after I get back up to my settlement and go through some of the, some of the more basic objectives, um, I'm actually gonna have to try to have six at all times. Let's take a look at this rock. Inspect. That's a granite rock. Most common one in the game. Find it all over the place. I'm gonna throw it just for funs and giggles. Do that by holding down the drop button. Um, okay, that's probably enough for right this second. Let's go back to our cell. Oh, by the way, one of my favorite senses that I didn't use enough in the beginning, so smelling is great, because you can find a lot of food that way. Um, but hearing. Oftentimes you can hear predators. Because you're going to get to the point where, if you use smelling, there's there's just so many, so much food and so many resources around that it's like highlighting everything. But with hearing, food doesn't make noise. So if you, well, strike that. Plants don't make noise. So you can use it sometimes to distinguish uh, a predator when there's a bunch of other stuff around. Alright, so we've made it back to our settlement. Cutscene. Where we're. I don't know. Welcome back or something.
Yeah, we have two babies. That's a nice little dance. So build a sleep spot. What we're gonna do run over here. That grass that we identified earlier. We can put a few pieces in a pile. So I'll drop one. Boom, another neuron. Now it says add the pile. We'll want to do that with four pieces. And you can start construction. And then just tap X a few times. Bam. Built a sleep spot. Let's see what my next objective is before we evolve. Yep. Learned how to build stuff. Again, that's the whole point. You're basically trying to teach these hominids how to do stuff so they can become closer to human. Alright, form a couple. Alright, we'll do that in just a moment. First, I'm look at the evolution screen. So, these two that have lit up, they lit up because we did actions involving them. We learned things. Um, this one's matricity, meaning running around, jumping from trees, standing up, that sort of thing. Um, sweet ability to switch hands. That's huge because that's actually how you learn to alter items and make better tools. Over here. Perception. You can smell and hear things a little further away. So these ones, that, these two that didn't light up in the corners. Uh, we've got intelligence, so the more we press triangle and look at stuff, the more we should get close to that. And communication. So that is the next thing we're supposed to do anyway. Form a couple. So again, I am female. In order to procreate, I'm going to need to find a male who is an adult. So this one's all gray. That means he's an elder. Or she. I didn't actually want that um, I don't want that one. That's a female. Hey look, an adult male. Analyze. Coupled with somebody already. I mean, don't get me wrong. I could just steal her boo, but I'm pretty sure there's one that's not coupled, so I'll check with that. Uh, what do you Hey, you're single. Alright, in order to make a couple, I'm going to groom this adult male. You can hear that audio cue. Oh, that thing. Uh, you want to release the button right after you hear that. And that's how you successfully do pretty much anything in this game. Do it four times. You have now formed a couple. Uh, oh, I guess before we procreate, we can identify the hidden waterfall oasis. This one, I'm not going to lie, my first time it took far longer than it should have. I went out all those little diamonds or landmarks and I went out looking all over the jungle trying to figure out where this landmark is. It's the one you start at, so it's right there. Uh, if you press and hold triangle, oh by the way, that's a beehive right next to it. Check that out. Let's discover it. It will show a little cutscene of this pretty place that you live in. It's a cool little oasis. You got a waterfall leading to it, and a waterfall leading down, which is particularly helpful because predators can't really make it up here. Damn. All that prettiness. So what's our new objective? Oh, yeah. The scene reminds me of playing the legs. We're all apes slash hominids, and clearly a rocket just fell from the sky. I mean, it's actually a meteor, but still. So it's going to give us an objective to go...
inspect that, or investigate that, inspect a meteorite. Uh, we are totally going to do that in a little bit. There's a couple things back here that it's very smart to do before you do that. Um, including, like I said a minute ago, some appropriation. Uh, I want more babies. And yeah, you can jump pretty far down without getting hurt in this one. But you will get hurt if you jump too far. Okay, let's go identify this, because again, identifying things is how your hominids learn. Inspect it real quick, as I get stung by bees. Sweet. Learn what it is, move away so I don't get stuck anymore. Oh, let's talk about these little circles that keep showing up. So that black circle with the green in the middle at the bottom? The black is your overall, like, max health, max energy, max stamina. Green is your energy level, current energy. So as I run and jump and climb things, you should see it starts to shrink and you see the yellow circle behind it. The yellow circle is your stamina. So when you stop doing things, the green should fill back up to the size of the yellow circle. Like that. Uh, if you ran out of energy, kept climbing, and it will happen, run out of stamina, you will start to see a red circle. That's your vitality. If that one is empty, you die. So try to avoid that. Uh, and there are ways to fill up all the circles, which I'm totally going to do right after I make a baby. So let this get down. Oh, cool. Uh, we'll talk about spontaneous genetic mutations in a little bit, but they're pretty awesome. A circle to call my mate. Here he comes. Hey, boo. Let's make a baby. So press my whole circle. It'll look away. I don't really need to see the details of how this happens. And why am I not pregnant? Uh, did I screw that up? Okay. So you press triangle to analyze somebody. You then press X to switch to them. I'm going to analyze the character I just was. Hmm. That is key. Ob, the character I was playing as, is not listed as fertile. Probably should have checked that before I tried to make a baby. Let's run over here. Saw another female. Hey, are you fertile? She's fertile. And she's single. Hey, guy. You, okay. You became single somehow in the time since I last looked at you. Go recouple yourself with her. So, again, grooming. You succeed four times. You're a couple. That's it. Eat bugs off somebody's back. You're a couple. Boom. Alright, so now we're gonna mate. Again. And yeah, they don't care whose bed it is. You can all use the same bed. Call my mate. I think the audio differences is funny between males and females. You just heard when the female initiated the mating, and she made a little bit of noise that the guys, I think, are funnier. Especially right there at the beginning, we're like, oh. Okay. We now have a pregnancy. Since we only have one fertile female, I'm going to go ahead and give birth. And no, it's not going to show like that whole process. It does cool, do a cool little cutscene of like the, the hominid baby in the womb. And then, kind of just been born, so it has like an afterbirth on it. And then it, it's going to fast forward a little bit because I, I don't know, I guess. Surviving with a newborn would be incredibly difficult, so you get to, like, I don't know, toddler age? Let's see, now it can play around a little bit. It can do that cool dance that other one did earlier.
Jeez, like how many are great dancers? That's what I'm talking about, guy. Alright, so I mentioned earlier that babies are like the most important thing in this game. Reason for that. As you run around, I'm actually going to leave the settlement for a second. And it's going to pop up a very important message that I didn't pay attention to when I first started playing. Down the bottom right, Neuronal Deactivated. That means no matter what I do, I won't get any neural energy. The reason for that is, I don't have any babies with me. The point of this game is to survive, but also to evolve. You evolve by teaching things to younger generations. So if I grab this baby, piggyback style, go ahead and grab another baby, piggyback style, front piggyback, piggy front. Now when I leave, didn't say anything about being disconnected. Uh, that's because I can learn things. I got babies, babies learn. Also, that little circle in the bottom right. So if you notice, here, let me step back out. <laughs> oh, it doesn't do that. Okay. Um, the dot in the center is you, obviously. Bottom right hand corner. Those are the babies in the clan. You'll notice. Two of them have a little line to the center. That's because I'm carrying them. The little line means they are following you. So there's another baby not following me. Up in the top, those are your elders. We only have two. And then the other three adults are the dots on the left. So to show how this works, if I tell her to follow me, there's now a line to the center. That's letting me know she's following me. If I head outside the settlement, Go far enough away. I feel like it should have done it already. Okay, there we go. Her circle moved outside the outer circle. See, it sticks out further than the rest. That's to let you know anytime you have a clan member outside of your settlement, they'll be outside of that circle. So if we run back, she should pop back into the middle. At least inside the other ring. Bam, she's back. That's basics of that. Uh, let's evolve, because we did get some new senses. Alright, we got a couple of them. So, initiate that. Once you hit initiate, it tells you what you got. Cool, increase range, but more importantly, it unlocks other stuff. Awesome. I probably should have read that. Gather all clan members together, so you can use your clan call to bring everybody together. Alright, that's all we've got for now. So again, you only get neuronal energy by having babies with you when you do stuff. There's also the stuff where you can you can do reinforcements. Notice I have three reinforcement points. Um, that means I could keep three things. If I unlock other stuff, I can keep three things and still change generations. I have three because my clan has three babies. That's why I was saying earlier, babies are the most important thing in this game. Ideally, you will have six at all times. However, it's a little early for that. For now, we're just going to look around some more, explore, learn things. And again, you as the player are learning, but possibly just as important, your hominids are learning. Particularly your baby hominids. Alright, here's a new tree over here that I haven't looked at before. Let's learn about that. Inspect it. Bam, food. So, some foods have, uh, buff. So, like, if you eat this one, it's going to show down the bottom left. Right now I have protection from breaking bones or from getting cold. This awesome fire leaf does that. You can also, later you can turn it into like a face and stuff, getting more protection. Uh, but for now I'm just gonna kinda look around and see what all there is to discover. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in this tree that I don't recognize. This 
we'll go take a look at that. There's what I was hoping to find. That's a hominid. Most importantly, it's a hominid that's not a member of my clan. So, we're gonna climb out into this tree. See if we can go rescue that person. And by rescue, I do mean make friends, which now that I think about it, sometimes all you gotta do is comfort them. Another great way to make friends is bringing them food. So I'm gonna grab, oh, we didn't identify horsetail yet, so let's do that. This plant right over here. Grab it. Check it out. This one also. That one gets protection from breaking bones, which I already have, but that's alright, I'll have a little more. Um, since it is raining, I can't get cold at the moment because I ate that awesome leaf. However, how many of the tree probably has not So I think I'm gonna bring that food to them, and hopefully that should make them a member of my clan. And it's female, so I should be able to make more babies with it. Ah, you might be wondering why. Oh, first, switching hands. You hit L1. Boom, that's not my primary hand. The reason I do that is to prevent me from accidentally eating it. Ah, so you may be wondering if I want more babies, why don't I just mate with that one fertile hominid over and over again? Uh, because the game creators figured you do that. I have one female who's not fertile. She's not fertile because she's had too many babies. Um, two. You get two. You can only have, each female can only have two babies at a time. Since my one female is no longer fertile, the other one might be. But adding more is going to help me with that. So I switched this leaf back into my main hand. I'm going to give it to this stranger. Boom. Member of my clan. Notice, by default, she is now following me, so I can lead her back to my settlement. Right over here. At first, I was like, oh, that's a huge drop, I'm gonna break legs or something. Nah. Uh, they can fall pretty dang far before they get hurt. Okay. New friend. Are you the new one? Oh. We're gonna analyze you real quick. Adult, female, coupled, doesn't say fertile, so I don't particularly care. One, stop following. You.